Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again on the forex market. So greetings of the long holidays, it's finally returning back to the markets. Uh, activity is also returning back gradually. So actually in the euro currency uh, future key moments uh, exist that we have discussed in the vehicle report, but mostly everything goes with our uh, pattern and the trading plan that we suggested. If you remember, we are considering hourly head and shoulders pattern. And in fact, actually, first stage of this pattern is done. So right on the Tuesday's open, um, today's open is actually market has dropped and completed the OP. Um, as you remember, right at the completion of the OP, we talked about the possible taking the long position. So those of you who, who have bought there probably should not regret because market shows healthy bounce. But at the current moment, we see risk that market could drop slightly lower. Um, this week, there are two major events stands in the center of the overall uh, attention. This is uh, actually minutes from the Fed in the last meeting. And second, what's more important is inflation. So currently it is uh, anticipated and uh, actually expected that inflation might be and should be a bit lower. So the but in general market expects the lowest level in the recent few months. Of course, it doesn't uh, correspond to our view on the market in the long term, but in the short term, because market currently reflects actually the data that we had months ago or even, long, or even longer. So maybe and it's inflation could uh, show a bit some slowdown because this is some lag exists. The uh, new liquidity injection has started just uh, a month ago, while the numbers that we will get actually uh, provides the information and inflation that was well approximately six months ago or so, so because it's a really big leg at, at least uh, maybe four or six months after the some action from the Fed. Uh, but in the longer term, of course, we would not believe that inflation will, will keep dropping. Um, so inflation could bring some volatility on the market. From the technical point of view, what we have on a, on a four hour time frame chart, here the trend has turned bearish, by the way. And for us, the major uh, thing to watch for whether this action will start becoming the starting point of the downward continuation, or we still could get some upper action. As you understand, weaker inflation is probably supports euro, and uh, market could show its upper action taken out of the top, as we said on the weekly chart, some Russian rinse or something. So um, on the follow time frame chart, market has not broken yet the support line. Here is the triangle, if you remember, but here is interesting stuff that we could get the bearish grabber just within the few hours. If this will happen, it means that market will take out of these lows and keep going lower. And there it's already will be interesting point how it will correspond to these lows. If we see bearish swing will be formed bearish reversal swing when this downward swing will become stronger than the previous up swing that probably tells us that short term tendency has changed and we start to we need to start to watching for a possible downward continuation if market could well, somehow hold inside of this area it's above these lows or somewhere somewhere around it <clears throat> that probably could uh, give the euro some chances on the upper rebound maybe even by the way on the inflation numbers uh, so, with this grabber that we have on the fall time frame chart, and if we we'll take a look on the hourly chart, this is our head and shoulders that we discussed. If you remember, it's collapsed right to the OP. That was previously confidence area that we talked about. And if you have bought here, it's actually nice bounce. That's why we're usually using strong levels, because if even later market could keep going lower, first reaction probably will be positive. And this is great protection, uh, great stuff that turns probability in our favor. It sometimes happens and very often happens that if you are totally wrong, but you buy or sell at a very strong level, you get good chances to move stops to the break even. 
so this is some some something of that sort and currently actually not bad result might be booked on this pullback at the same time taking into consideration the strength of this collapse and possible grubber on the fall time from journey <clears throat> i would suggest that really not bad chances that market could keep going lower to the xop so that's by the way as you can see right now around the lows that we just have discussed on the fall time from journey and what will happen here that might be really interesting so that's our view currently we're not considering taking new long position if you would like to go short probably you could think about it um, that's the destination point one rate approximately one or seven ninety eight one rate 12 so this confluence support and xop agreement that will be next downside destination point with this current background until we get better bullish signs i would consider taking the long position by far so if market return at the cup taking out to the c point in this case yes so maybe we could consider some pullback and then think about taking the long position in the current moment with the potential grabber as i said here although it's not a fact that it will be formed but currently it seems that at least it exists right now it's unconfirmed but now it's might be formed and with this collapse uh, out stands in favor of the another letdown. So that's actually what we have on here.